what's up everyone welcome back to another review today we're gonna be looking at Emmanuel Manez and Bruno Madero so these two are a part of Raul Cerule's pit crew now these two are from the 2016 World Grand Prix pit crew series now as you can see the card art looks very nice and then on the back you can see some instructions for the Carster Double Garage app and a nice description up here in the top right corner and also you can see a little bit to the left you can see a nice picture of Nigel's Pities kind of looking pretty worried and a little confused there because the same cars too were made as driving down driving down the way trying to warn everyone about the bomb so now let's open up this awesome two pack So here are these two awesome die casts out of the package. So first let's take a look at Bruno first because Bruno has been re-released um, a couple times before. So I'll just do a brief uh, brief 360 of them. So as you can see the nice blue color and the nice French flag. Very nice. You can also see some of his body is kind of um, covering his back wheels. And then you can also see his plastic headset, which is not removable. And yeah, he's a pretty unique model, which is also very nice as well. License plate reads 02-ZS8. And then also you can see here is the base, pretty normal. You can see a little stamp right there. And then also you can see over here in the world, there's a World Grand Prix little root logo that you can see the French flag is covered in on. But it can, but it's kind of hidden by the by the headset by the plastic headset so you can't really remove it or anything but you can see it more clearly on this side but this is all your mouth on that side so that will do it for the review of Bruno so now let's take a look at Emmanuel Manez because he has never been released before this is the first time he's been released in a two pack I think that's really awesome and what's pretty cool is that most of the World Grand Prix pitties that have been released so far got they all of them do have like a backwards cap because in the car in the first cars movie all of the piston cup pities they all had like caps that were going like forward just like regular worn but like you can see here they're all kind of like backwards which i actually think is kind of cool and are pretty similar to most of the piston cup pities which you can see kind of a kind of have a pretty similar body style so you can see, basically has the same kind of look as Bruno does, same, same color, you can see the French flag is, is in stripes on the back. And then also here's the World Grand Prix logo, and then you can see, you can see the colors again, which also appeared on both sides of the cap, which I think is really cool. No license plate, there's just a little um, black cover right here. And then, and then here are his plastic forks, which are not removable. And he also does have a smiling expression, which I'm not really sure if that's accurate to the movie, but otherwise I think he's really cool though. And out of these two, he would definitely be my favorite. And then also here's the cart that they come with. Very nice. You can just see it has the World Grand Prix logo with the, the French flag. And then other than that, you can see here just the plastic cart wheels. That'd be cool if the wheels moved, but they don't. So... They're just kind of stuck in plastic, so that kind of stinks, but I'd love to see one of those if they're actually like swivel wheels for like a cart. I think that'd be kind of cool. I can imagine that in like the Precision series or something. I bet they wouldn't like release that in the Precision series, but like I can like I can like see see that happening. Like I can like imagine that. So I think that'd be kind of cool one day, but most likely that will not happen. But I hope you guys did enjoy this review. And tell me in the comment section below, who do you like the best out of these two? And we'll see you guys next time for another review. Bye.